At this historic home in Brookside, no one expected a man with a hammer would uncover history. We opened up the top part of it and just 100 cans came out. Colby Marvel says he and another contractor were tuck pointing this 1920s era front porch last week when this column proved to be a treasure chest. A quick Google research showed that some of these Falstaff cans can go for 40 to 50 dollars. And I've got at least 20 to 30 of these guys. Danielle Mulder has owned the home for several years, and she recently decided to renovate. The 70 year old beer cans and bourbon bottles Marvel found aren't garbage. It was just a jackpot of late 1940s, every variety of whiskey and bourbon you can imagine, tons of old vintage beer cans, many of them in amazing condition. The contents of the containers are long gone. It's even a bottle is 125 used. But websites like eBay show they can bring a solid paycheck from collectors. There's collectors, and overnight I now have an extensive collection. Danielle and her family even discovered the column has a chute at the top, which might explain how they got in there years ago. Mulder says she originally thought these cans and bottles might have been from back in the Prohibition era, but the dates on each bottle and can proves that they're not. As for how they got into that column to begin with, well, Mulder suspects it might have been all in the family. It could have been the wife. Let's not, let's not, you know, the wife, kids, it drives you to drinking. I was just happy for our owners, for them to be able to find something that's worth value. And to whoever tipped those drinks years ago, your name remains a secret. Sean McDowell, Fox 4 News.